And we are live. What is going on, everybody? It is rock time. It is time to talk some music. It is our time to hang out with uh, hopefully a ton of people hanging out, listening to our music news yeah. <laughs> and, and, and some discussion. A lot, going on, gonna... a lot going on out there. <laughs> yeah. I think I heard something about uh, some folks doing some lives today. So we never know. You never know who's going to join in. Right. But uh, yeah. So, so what's going on with you, man? What's going on? Not much. Yeah. Just, uh, just kind of taking some, uh, I have a few days off of work and uh, so yeah, just kind of get some things done around here and uh, kind of just taking a break from work a little bit. Oh, cool. Right on. So, yeah. yeah. That's a good thing. Taking a break from work is good. Yeah. Uh, but we have, I haven't, I've been just working. I'm ready for a vacation. Let me tell you that I'm ready for a vacation. How's the new job been? Like since you started, it's it's awesome, man. I'll, I'll tell you that the team I'm with is uh, passionate about what they're doing, IT wise, and I'll tell you that's a huge deal when you're running IT. You know, working with a group that you really like to work with is just absolutely a blast. Oh yeah, what's going it on? Yeah, it I, I, you know, better, better environment. Time time goes by quicker. Or, you know, oh, yeah. if you got a good, a good environment and good people to work with, I feel like it kind of goes by a little quicker. Oh, absolutely. What's going on, Rex oh, Reviews? Rep. What's going on, buddy? Um, you know, I tell you that it's made a huge life difference for me, too. Um, just, I think it's not so much the money. I mean, there is some money involved. That's nice. But it is nice to be able right. to uh, not be as stressed out. I was so stressed at the last job. I was working weekends, like all weekend long. It was crazy. I've never been in a job where it was that crazy. So just really happy to not be doing that anymore. So, um, right. yeah, extremely excited. Extremely excited to be able to. So, so you know, right now we have to talk desserts. We know that... Uh, we don't have a guest this week, which is fine. You know, it's just the odd week where we get to hang out and just chat. Um, so we're going to do some music, some music giveaway trivia later. But right now we're going to talk desserts. So dessert wise, I, I think I'm, we're going to always hold it off to the end because we know that the superior master chef over here is <laughs> <laughs> has surpassed. So I'm going to let you know that I brought a plus. So it's a bonus. To try to top uh -oh. the chef. Let's see if I can top the chef. Let's see if I can do uh -oh. it. Yo, Camel What's Cam. going on, Camo Cam? What's going on? So, I'm, I'm cookies. Cookies. Chocolate chip cookies, so very plain. But these are those, like, they're not the Chip Ahoy. You know, they're actually homemade. So. Nice. And then uh, to top it, just to see if I could throw some extra, I got gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> You can't go wrong I, with the gummies, though. I mean, gummies are always uh, good. That's right. As long gummy as bears, there's any kind of gummy worms, whatever. I mean, that's, that's all right. Good. That's right. And these are not <laughs> any special type of gummy worms. These are not no. special gummy worms. These are just <laughs> gummy worms that <laughs> that are safety that are safe for me to eat and work appropriate. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go see your dessert, my friend. Well, this is, uh, <laughs> It's probably still kind of warm, but uh, it's uh, so I even asked my mom, I was hey, what can I make like for dessert wise? She's like, eh, maybe like don't do chocolate, do like something like sweet and salty or whatever. So I did like a uh, um, it's like a margarita type bar or whatever. So it's like a little, you know, little, and there's a whole sheet, the whole like little cookie sheet of it. It's a uh, so it's like a, like just pretzel, pretzel on the bottom, like pretzel crust and like a lime. Oh. Lime in the middle, and I'm a little topped with a little bit, you know, lime, real lime. So, all right, that's ridiculously good. <laughs> <laughs> I probably actually right, you say key lime pie, but it's, it's just, oh it's just like, my you know, like, goodness, it's called margarita bars. So, uh, that's you know, awesome, man. That is awesome. Together, so, <laughs> that's really awesome. Try that when it cools off. Yeah, how cool! How cool is that? I mean, honestly, how cool is that? That is pretty cool. Um, recipe, some recipes that come across though like, have been really like easy, like uh, the like the little ice cream sorbet thing I made. Fairly easy. I mean, three ingredients, and this was just you know just salt. I mean, uh, the pretzels, condensed milk, and 
and some sugar, butter, and uh, lime. I mean, lime juice, all that stuff. It's just about it. No, oh, that's cool. What a Billy Rogers. Yeah, so yeah. Billy Rogers is exactly that's exactly what we're going to talk about. Can uh, yeah. so you know ZZ Top? If you have if you are a bearded man of any type, you know ZZ Top by their beards and um, the basis for ZZ Top uh, yeah. passed away at seventy two this week, uh, yesterday actually. So uh, yeah, Dusty. Dusty, Dusty Hill. was Dusty Hill, absolutely one of the best, most influential bands. Uh, he had amazing riffs. There were, you know, he's a bass. He had that bass guitar, but he also had the vocals that were just all the songs oh, yeah. that I think about when I think of Lagrange. I think him. You know, I'm, I'm yeah. thinking that's that's a classic, and that was Dusty oh, Hill yeah. right there. I did. I actually yeah. did. Uh, I wore the, the little trio, the Dusty Hill and uh, the Gibbons today from Taylor. Oh, that's cool. They oh, that's right. Up. Really How good. How crazy is that? How crazy is that 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 just happened? It came out right at this time, which was almost like a celebration yeah. stint. Yeah. So. I. Yeah. Amazing. It's it's an amazing loss. Um, the one thing that you can say is that he on his, you know, I guess what he said is that he's going to he. Can, yeah. He said the van has to go on. Yeah, and that's, that's what his, yeah, that, was, that was like his dying yeah. wish kind of thing. He, he said to Billy, yeah. "Is that he, he wanted uh, um, the guy to take his place, the the drum t- or the uh, guitar tech, um, or uh, and take his place and then pretty much play on." Right, and, yeah, and they Frank, have somebody. Frank to help. Beard, they had yeah. Frank Beard is like the guy that doesn't have a beard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought it was always cool. He just has the name. He just has the name yeah. Frank Beard. I love it. So, um, and then, yeah, absolutely. So somebody brought up the other bit of news for Lost Wise, uh, Slipknot's drummer. Yeah, Joey Jordan. Uh, yeah. uh, yeah. I mean, a former, former drummer, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, one of the founders of Slipknot. He was right. a, a former drummer because he, I guess he had, he had some health stuff going on, which is, I think, the reason why I, they did remove him from the band because uh, of some health reasons that were going on at the time. So he had to take a hiatus, which, you know, uh, it was a long hiatus. So the, the band kind of wanted to keep going and they kind of went without him. They parted ways. So he kind of went on a little solo stuff. But uh, yeah, wow. man, it's, 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 it's crazy. And at 46 years old. Too, way too young. I mean, that's, that's, too that's, that's literally my age. And um it's a, I don't know. Do you know what he? I don't know what he passed away from yet. And I know I that don't we know. don't know. We know that Dusty Hill died in his sleep at seventy-two years old. And that's still fairly young in the game. You know, the guy was super healthy. Um, you know, he's still rocking it on the stage. He did suffer from like um, some sort of hip injury that was keeping yeah, him out of. Yeah, he had a hip injury, and I know some people are saying like it might have like that might have been probably just some kind of. Some of something else going on with that as well because I mean, that's what I got from it was as a hip injury and like oh he's gonna be out of a couple because we're actually supposed to go see them in November 9th over in oh Tampa at the Hard yeah, Rock cool. and uh, <laughs> then my girlfriend's like oh uh, one of the members of ZZ Top passed away and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like what what are you talking about and yeah it was crazy um not sure there's no there's no uh, no what knowing what he passed of yet. No, and I've been looking for it. Um, we'll let you know as soon as we hear from it. Um, we'll definitely yeah. be posting something about it later this week. Um, to me, I mean, I still play ZZ Top songs. Um, okay. When I'm sitting there jamming out, some of the best fun songs that I can think of are ZZ Top. The ones that I grew up in the 80s. Um, yeah. And if you ever, there's a Netflix uh, show on ZZ Top and how their beginnings and how they basically started from nothing. I mean, they were just a Texas band where they're talking about. I remember one of their stories that are from one of their uh, from this documentary was that they have like they played to a band of like they went to this place and, and they when you first start out in the music world, you're going to like dive bars, you're going to places that any right. place that will let you play. And they said that there's this one guy, <laughs> this one guy that he's, he's the guy. He cause says that he was the one guy he just, he showed up, he was there, they played their songs and he was just the one guy that was there. 
and he's still like when he comes when they come back into town, he's like, "Hey, there's the guy." <laughs> <laughs> he's never the guy. <laughs> the guy. <laughs> there's that guy. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's amazing. It, this is the story, and this is the reason why we do the music interviews was for the same reason why ZZ Top good bands need notoriety and when we see a good band or we know of a good band we will try to bring them to you and most of the time we're going to be brand you know we don't know whether these folks are going to make it or break it like but i i see like uh south for winter they're traveling around doing their thing right now it's it's, it's yeah. awesome and they were on our stream so it'll be fun to see their growth um, but we do see that, you know, bands like ZZ Top, which have that amazing blues background, because that's where they really, mm-hmm. that when they, when you talk about blues, ZZ Top was the epitome of a blues band that turned rock. Right. Uh, an amazing oh, sound yeah. that they had. Amazing Any sound. Any song that you can listen to is just, mm-hmm. you know, and then they've been together 50 years. I mean, think about that. That's crazy. That is 50 crazy. years. Like that, they haven't played without a, a member on the stage for fifty years, and it's been three three guys. I mean, it really, literally, is three yeah. guys. And to be able to, I always thought they have such a big sound for three guys, but it was about amplification. Some of the the, the some of the tools that they were using to be able to just really bring that sound, dial that sound out to make it as big as it is for three guys. I mean, right. it's yeah, amazingly good and. The guitarist, I mean, honestly, those guys are from Texas, but they're they all played at different bands at different times when they first started up, and yeah. they they just kind of came together and just knew how to jam together, and that's what uh-huh. I think that that was the interview that they had for. Um, I think it may have been Dusty Hill was like, oh, no, maybe it was the guitarist. They just brought him in and said, "Let's just jam," and that's how they knew, you know, that that was what you know that was how they knew that they would be a good band together so pretty right. awesome go check it out on netflix uh rest in peace dusty i mean you're yeah. definitely going to be missed um amazing you know amazing artist and i don't think that you have the understanding of what it takes to be doing it that long you yeah. know and that's what that's what he wants to that's what dusty hill wanted them to do is just carry on the, the band and to have i think his name is elwood like Elwood Francis, I think is the the guitar tech or or whatever that they want mm-hmm. to bring in and and let them play for you know for the time being. Yeah. Um, so I mean, we'll see what the future brings and see how see how long you know they kind of keep it going for. Yeah, for sure. What's up going on, Chris? What's going on, buddy? What's going on, Nicholas Z? It's good to see you guys all in here. So what else, what other news do you have? I mean, I got Slipknot's on the list. Um, there is so many bands touring right now, but there's a lot of concern about the fact that um, COVID's going to shut it back down again. Yeah, with, with the other uh, other strain of COVID or something like that going around. It's, it's yeah, I'm not, I haven't heard anything around here yet. Um, I think I heard one of the guys I used to work with just got COVID. So Yeah, that's, yeah, we've yeah, known people that's again, better. yeah. And it's attacking more of the young folks. So definitely, yeah. you know, check it out. See what you see what's best for you. I never push anybody into doing vaccinations, but check it out. It is a fairly successful if you do get the vaccination. I don't, you know, I'm not, I not push it either way. Whatever your beliefs are, your beliefs. So just check it out and be, you know, uh, be intelligent with your decision making. So that's all I ever say. You know? Yeah, Nick Z says... Uh, the hand pan is that like the little drum thing that's like it's got little things and like it's called a hand pan or something like that it's oh a, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Mouse, mouse yeah 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 it's got like a like whatever I, on top of some like spaceship looking like but yeah you know i um, saw one of those the other day on some guy was playing it so if you watch instagram and i i have a lot of musicians now on instagram and yeah they're just and it's so it, it sounds really cool it sounds really cool. I, I yeah. enjoy listening. Yeah. A lot of percussionists will play with different types of percussion. And I that's what I love about that type of thing is that percussion is so many different things in the background that you would know, like cowbell, you know, who would think cowbell would be something that you'd <laughs> want to use in a song, but you know, don't fear the reaper had it <laughs> blue oyster yeah. cult. 
such a <laughs> and known now as the uh, more cowbell song. Yeah, we need more cowbell. <laughs> Gotta have that yeah. cowbell. Do you know what's so funny? So I was watching a show, uh, or I was watching one of those memes, and they were like um, songs that they do not want to hear at Guitar Center anymore. <laughs> <laughs> And that was one of them. That and Stairway to Heaven. heaven. <laughs> yeah, it was Stairway to Heaven. It was like Eruption. No Everybody and their brother can play Eruption uh, from Van Halen. Um, what's another? Was Stairway to Heaven. Oh, what is it? I mean, it was like a list of like girls, girls, girls. <laughs> it was, it was hilarious. What was like all the songs that people are trying to that bring in there. You know, some sort of riff. I'm going to play this riff for Guitar Center, for all the Guitar Center folks. <laughs> I can't imagine that. I mean, I go in there, I'm trying to check out a guitar. I'm not trying to, let me see if I can impress the staff of the Guitar Center. <laughs> Do you know what's so amazing? <laughs> Do you know what's so amazing is this? You can go into Guitar Center, and it just makes you feel. I mean, all these guys that are working there are usually in some band, and it just, and all of them have the same inspirations to try to do something with it, right? Right. Um, <laughs> what is that? No. St- <laughs> no, no yeah, like no the, uh, the whole Wayne, the whole Wayne's World uh, show. <laughs> That's right. Where he goes in <laughs> a guitar store with once a blade, once his guitar. <laughs> he's playing Stairway. He's like he's got a uh, sign in the music store that says "No Stairway." <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to say that I do know how to play Stairway to Heaven. I mean, if you're a guitarist, you know Stairway to Heaven. Um, I. Tr- I, I try to keep it down from playing it right now. My new, my new song that I'm trying to learn is snow by, um, hot red, hot chili peppers. Uh-huh. It's a really fast, really awesome little lick that, or riff that goes throughout the entire song. And then I'm also <laughs> playing, uh, learning to play Anastasia from slash. So okay. the solo on that is incredibly good. I just, I enjoy that type of any, he, has, he starts off, that whole song is really cool. If everybody doesn't know what that is, go check it out. It's Anastasia by Slash. And he starts off with like a really good uh, melodious type of uh, acoustic guitar, a classic yeah. guitar, nylon string guitar. And then he bridges it over into a just a really cool solo riff. And then they just, I mean, I don't, I don't, and I don't know who the singer is. I can't remember who it is. It's another famous singer that he has, uh, has uh, like he always does. It'd be Slash Band with somebody else singing. Uh-huh. It's awesome. Yeah, that is a great song. Absolutely. Um, yeah, that's who it is. Yep. Yeah, it's amazing song. And then the guitar riff is just a really solid scale piece that um, is very classical sounding, um, but it has some intricacy to it. It's it's fun to play. It's really fun to ba- play. Um, those are the two things that I've been picking up recently. It's just like harder oh, pieces. Yeah. Sure. Other than ACDC, you know, other than ACDC, I've been picking up ACDC yeah. stuff for... Yeah, yeah I, I picked up... What did yeah. I play? Uh, I my kids were very tired of me playing rock and roll is no, is not noise pollution. <laughs> oh, okay. There near me. Yeah. 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 Even though I butchered the name of the song. Um, <laughs> so like going back, going back to like the, if you worked at, if you worked at a guitar place, right. What song w- would bother you to hear that would, you know what I'm saying? That would be like, what, what songs would you say? Like, obviously you got stay away. Obviously, you know, you got uh, eruption. What other songs you think would be on a list of of, of songs like that? Probably well, Kickstart well, Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue. True, sure, yeah. Or mm-hmm. Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. <laughs> 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 I would get really tired of hearing that all day. Or uh, was it Smoke on the Water? <laughs> Did it need a smoke on the... <laughs> okay, swing, so I got I got I got a... Sm- <laughs> So I got this funny story. So Christy literally okay. thinks that that's all I play. Like she goes, every time I hear you play anything, it just sounds like more smoke on the water to me. And I'm just like, and so <laughs> my friends will periodically just post a picture of somebody playing smoke on the water. They'll just throw a video onto Facebook and then tag Christy in it. 
just i mean it's been years of this because she just was like every time i hear you play smoke on the water that's all i hear <laughs> Cam <laughs> said, crazy train i think i think yeah unless you oh whole, yeah that's another you knew, yeah. like the whole thing well then yeah don't yeah. play it yeah don't yeah did it did it did it yeah <laughs> so, so what do you get so when you first start playing <laughs> chris, chris plays a mean triangle <laughs> like the dinner bell he triangle play the hell out of that triangle that's like the dinner the dinner bell triangle like, <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> everybody starts coming everybody starts trying to eat that's awesome <laughs> oh man so you know what's kind of cool tonight so i'm gonna let you guys in on a little uh fun thing that i'm doing later tonight so uh mr gary from chesapeake beard company uh, is in town, and I am going to dinner with him and his wife. Well, nice. and and Christy is so. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I think awesome. it'll be a f yeah, yeah, yeah. I we're going to uh, Texas Roadhouse. So he comes all the way to Phoenix to go to Texas Roadhouse. <laughs> you, can, you can go see if he picked you up at Dixon. He went to the Dixon store. <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. No, I'm sure. I, I live right down the street from it. If I need to go get oh, one, yeah. I go get my own. Uh, you know, it's the funny thing about Dixon is is that they have, if you get into their store at a certain time, a, um, before the, you can get it before other people and then you don't get the sold out. So they offer it and it's it's pretty cool. I, I, I think it's it's awesome that they do that, that you can just well, go yeah. to the store and pick it up. But I have one of those here, for like, Phoenix folks. Place. Yeah. yeah, for Phoenix people, because there's only one store, and it's in Tempe, Arizona. Yeah, yeah you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when they so, do a release, they only make like a certain. They make like a certain amount. Like I think I made like a comment with them. I was like, "Bro, just make like, make like ten thousand of them or something." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time I go there, I just sold out. <laughs> like, Lord. <laughs> oh, there we go. Here we got some new ones. <laughs> you live in Satan's furnace. Why do you need a flannel? But you can get uh, bamboo, bamboo ones, the little short sleeve ones. That's what I'm going to be doing. Bamboo. That's exactly. Yeah. They're the like bamboo a, ones I would get. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to go get. Now that I know that they're there, I bought a really cool flannel. And literally, Chris is right. You wear it like yeah, cause I have one, one for Christmas. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, you wear it one I for have, Christmas. I have one. <laughs> and I got that for like uh, near I think Halloween or something like that. Salem. Oh yeah, you know what? I love Fleetwood Mac. Fleetwood Mac's amazing. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I, I so if you're gonna if you're gonna go back to good seventies eighties, Fleetwood Mac is really. And you know what? He plays. He played the coolest double. I think he had like a triple guitar. If I remember right, he had like a guitar that had like. So why do people people always ask? Well, why would you have two guitars on the same guitar? What's the point of that? Right. And different tunings. That's why um, you'll drop D. So drop D is one of the most famous ones. Um, if you listen to a lot of different uh, offspring, a lot of punk will use drop D, um, and a lot some metal will too. But I'm more familiar with like the offspring. A lot of their songs will play drop D. So you'll have one of their one of their songs doing a drop D. And then you'll have the other one with the regular tuning, standard tuning, which is right. E. But um, this is the, what's so cool about um, Van Halen is that Van Halen had like on his Frankenstrat, he had like a little thing that he would push that would automatically go to drop D. Okay. So if you want, yeah, it, it was actually, he had it custom built for him. I think he made it himself. Like that's why they called it Frankenstrat because he had all these custom things that would like, just push this button it goes to drop d it, it, it's incredibly cool yeah that's crazy that's cool yeah yeah very cool so let's see joshua ricks is in the house we got oh, ricks. what's going on yeah, buddy it's easy it's easily to be uh addicted by by dixon's i i do want to get one of the bamboo shirts if they ever have in stock what up, what i up, am you? I'm going to go down there. What's going on? J Cruz healthy beard. It's in the house. You know, I, 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 I always give shout outs to one of my good friends. This dude was, when we went to Jersey, we had such a good time hanging out with the, and right. we had, so we hung out very, me and him and Ken hung out the last night. We went to, uh, 
this awesome Italian restaurant and had such good food. So, you know, we're talking about food. Oh my goodness. The food was, I have a picture of Ken, like with this cheese that was like unbreak. It was so good. It was that gooey cheese where you're pulling it off that pizza. Oh. <laughs> Ridiculously good. Ridiculously good. So, so anyway, so, you know, I think people are interested in some trivia and I got about, we got about half an hour. Um, do we have, before we go into trivia, yeah. do we have any other news that we have that uh, might be interesting? Um, I, I mean, there's so many summer, there's so many summer tours going on right now. Do you know what I mean? Good. You're doing what? So what are you going to? You said, you said you're going to do ZZ Top. Are you, you're, are you doing that Slipknot I mean, Slipknot now, I don't know what they're doing since they lost their drummer, but that. he was an old, he was an older drummer. So yeah, he was an older oh, that, drummer. He but was, he was a, yeah, they, they have a, yeah, I forget who they have now. But they're going to be playing and they have like a whole, like it's a festival mm -hmm. show. There's like 20 other bands playing with them. What is it they called? Have, Slip, uh, what? Not Fest. Like not, not Fest. Not fest. Is that what, yeah, something not like fest. that. Yeah. Foo Fighters. Do you know what I really like about the Foo Fighters is when they play a couple of their songs, they'll let somebody go on stage. Have you seen some of those where they let like uh, yeah. Kiss Man? He's I've like, go look at <laughs> And they just totally like kick yeah, like butt on, stage. on yeah. yeah, I don't they don't ever let anybody. I've never seen <laughs> one where it's like this guy's embarrassing. You don't do it. So I do I know, think uh, about. I think Jerry Jerry Cantrell from Alice, Alice in Chains is doing like a solo album. Oh, is he? Yeah. A I think he just, think he, just released cool. like a, he released like a single from it. I think. Yeah. Well, our friend Brandon B just released a. So our good friend Brandon, who was on, uh, he just released a new single. So go check him out. Uh, I think it's called Lightning. And then there's okay. also that other group. Uh, the other group, the. Hurricane Sugar. Group that just, Hurricane Sugar. You knew it. Uh, yeah. They just released a new nice, video. Awesome video. Yeah, that video is awesome. Yeah. That is really cool. And you know what? That's what I love about LA. LA just has all of that creativity going on for it. You know? Right. It's, it is so fun. So, we guys, we totally appreciate, you know, everybody coming in. We're going to play some trivia here and uh, we're going to give a giveaway. And. Uh, It'll be fun. I'm not going to let you know what the giveaway is until the end. Just going to let you know. There is a giveaway, and it's going to be a good one. So uh, we'll wait till the end. So it's gummy, uh, it's gummy worms. It's gummy worms. It's gummy worms. So I'm giving away <laughs> some gummy worms, some special gummy worms from Arizona. <laughs> It'll have some jalapenos in it, some habanera. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do music trivia, and the winner of the music trivia wins the giveaway for the night. And again, that's gonna be the surprise giveaway. Surprise giveaway. Um, but I think you guys will like it, so it'll be really cool. Um, so do you have questions? I will let uh, James start off. What do you? I know he has some questions, and then um, do we have somebody who's going to tally like anybody who wins? Um, so whoever's wins each question. So we'll. I got a notepad up, so I can type, name the people who win questions, and we'll tally up, and then at the end we'll uh, announce the winner. Whoever gets the most trivia questions, one. Uh, We'll win the the giveaway. So, so okay, James, what do you got? Um, let's see. I'm trying to. If you want to go first, and go. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to, trying so, to see which one. So, I got. question number one, and this is close to my heart. ACDC, the infamous classic rock band. I don't know why they say infamous. Has a hit album that is in all black, <laughs> and has all black writing as well. It was composed, and this is an interesting thing, for a tribute to a band member. Interesting. Which album are we talking about? So, a all black ACDC album. Anybody? 
anybody. Gotta wait. Oh, yep, there we go. Camel cam. Yep. AC, DC, black and black. That was too easy. That was too easy. But I didn't know it was a tribute, so I thought that was interesting. I thought that would maybe hook some people up because it was like a tribute to somebody. But uh, yeah, it was a Back in Black was a tribute to who was the lead singer who died, unfortunately, uh, too young. Do you know that, James? Are you a big ACDC fan? Uh, yeah, I, I like their stuff. Bon Scott. So Bon Scott oh, was yeah, the yeah, original bon singer who yeah. died of uh, basically of being drunk and what would they asphyxiation, but he got drunk in his car and threw up in his mouth and died of asphyxiation. So, okay, next one, sir. I'll let James go. So camo cam. Good job on that, buddy. Good job. Um, okay. Uh, who, who claims to have given Led Zeppelin their name? Oh, that's a good one. Carol Cam was all over that. He knew all the trivia questions. Bon Scott, yeah, he got it. So, so but what is the question? What was the question? Repeat uh, it again. The question again is who? Uh, I'll say actually say who? What drummer? What drummer claims to have given Led Zeppelin their name? Oh, that's a good one. Google at work right now. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> yeah. Silence. Let's see. Yep, Camel Cam got it. Camel Cam. Whoa, it's Keith two Moon. four two. He's on it. Keith Moon. Keith Moon. Uh, what is the story behind that? Do you have a story behind this? Is there like a story? Uh, no, it's just not yeah, just just facts uh, about it. I don't have any like uh any kind of news behind it. Oh interesting. I, I just always wonder about the backstory. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm definitely gonna check it out. I'll definitely check it out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, there's... Okay, so we're going to go... Okay. Who recorded the 1973 album titled Trace Hombres? Mm. <laughs> it's a nigga you want. <laughs> this is a Google one. This may not be a Google one. Tres hombres. <laughs> Cam, Cam's Googling it. Yep, he's got it right. <laughs> Cam, Cam Google. He's the guru of the Googles. He's got it. So ZZ Top, yep. yep. ZZ Top is the uh, answer to that one. So, um, okay. Go ahead, James. Okay. Um, which, okay. Hold on, how do I say this? Jimi Hendrix was inspired by a dream in which he could walk on water for what song? Oh, that's a good What Jimi Hendrix song? Camo Cam, Googling. So, Googling. Let's see if we can get Jim somebody Hendrix else. was to... inspired by a dream in which he could walk on water. Oh, yeah. Camo Cam had it just because he knew. He knew. I love the fact that he knew, actually, because we just did talk about him. Oh, there we go. Billy yeah, Rogers. Cam is th which one is it? Camo Cam, Camo Cam got it again. Yeah, <laughs> nice job, face. buddy. <laughs> Camo Cam is kicking kicking some butt right now good job billy rogers had a good one though that's a good guess which okay so this is a question right now we'll have a little break here a second best Jimi hendrix song in your opinion anybody out in the crowd uh, too you can uh, which one one of the songs i do like was if six was nine if six was oh. nine yep Great so if six was nine. I mean, I like Purple Haze and stuff like that. Instead of everything, if, if six was nine was good. Yeah. I am a big Voodoo Child fan. And I just like the big... I, I really like the intro. Right? Oh, Camo Cam's yeah, a music fun. geek. Nice. Nice. Camo's smoking Purple Kush. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Smuggled. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> cool. Okay. So we got next question. Okay. Ha 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 ha. The Led Zeppelin hit Stairway to Heaven was played live for the first time in which city? In. A good one. Nobody's let's see what people got. The Star Spangled Banner is one of the best Jimi Hendrix songs ever. I absolutely yeah. love that. Oh, close, close, Camel Cam, close. It's another city on that side of the pond, though. Another big city on that side of the pond in that same area, actually. You could say it is in the vicinity of that, yes. Another person that it's another country or well, kind of a country, but it's part of uh, Birmingham. No close. So it's not in England, but it is in a country right next to the West of England. Camo Cam is is close. Fighting for this one. There they are. <laughs> Oslo. Oh, close. Glasgow. Nope. Nope. Close. I will give it away. I will say that it starts with a B. And in the eighties, it was very controversial place. Had a lot of bombings in the Berlin at close. Wrong wrong side, west. West of England. Narrowed down to possibly in Ireland. <laughs> There's some leprechauns that are go to this place. Starts with a B. There we go. Camo Cam for the win. Camel Cam has murder, murdered everybody. He's murdering everybody. Okay, good job. Good job, Belfast. Yep. Okay, go ahead. Next question, James. Uh, I found this one kind of funny. Uh, so the um, Malcolm Young of ACDC, when he was uh, 15 years old, he had a job. What kind of job did he do? Or where did he where did he work and what did he do? Oh, at the age of fifteen, one. before he you know went on to. Hey, sober chef Eric, what's going on, buddy? We're playing some trivia tonight. Thanks for joining. <laughs> Billy Rogers. <laughs> <laughs> F you, buddy. <laughs> I'm caving. Google it. <laughs> So, okay, yeah, okay, again, uh, so at the age of 15, I think after he was done with school or he left school, Malcolm Young uh, worked as what? Or worked where, I guess you could say. He's saying a film composer. Hmm. Uh, eh, eh, eh. That's a good question. Good guess, though. But so just anybody who happens, where is, so we're, we're not, we're going to go, why we're late, waiting for that. They do come from Australia. So it's probably an Australian type of job. Maybe he's a kangaroo tamer. Could be. <laughs> no good. <laughs> a cam, cam, cam guy. <laughs> you worked at a bra factory. Oh, that's crazy. That's absolutely <laughs> crazy. Fan, he, was, he, was, uh, he worked uh, uh, with a sewing machine at a bra factory. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I, I I that was a, a, That's a great fact. I thought that was, <laughs> funny, was funny to pull out. Hey, we're, so we're going to go, everybody in the crowd, we're going to take a second. 
worst job or craziest job that you've ever had so worst or craziest job you've ever had you go james what do you got i've never i mean i've never really had a crazy job i always worked in restaurants so i mean uh yeah, that's a crazy never, job I, yeah <laughs> i mean <laughs> it is a crazy job <laughs> i worked at a lingerie warehouse I did. Oh, yeah. I worked at a lingerie. It's called Yandy.com, and they're here in Phoenix. And they needed extra help during holiday season for Halloween, Halloween season. And I, but most of the stuff that I did for that four weeks was stuff bras into packing labels and <laughs> ship them off. You will not oh. believe the things that I have seen in a, I mean, this place, I mean, it was like, I would say it had, you, you just can't imagine. It was just the, I mean, there was a lot of costumes, don't get me wrong. And it was all the cost, the naughty nurse costumes and devil, okay. devil lady and witch costumes. <laughs> but then their whole other section was just crazy amounts of lingerie and things. It, it was, and you're, you're jumping in, and you're, you're having, Climbing up like le like metal shells to get to a lingerie label and to be able to pull it out and pack it and move it. Craziest job I've ever had. had. Like, what would be funny is like you had the experience of like you come across a girl and you're like, hey, I made that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I made that. It looks good. I made that. So sober, sober chef Eric was Twinkle the Kid at a grocery store. Twinkie, oh, Twinkie, oh, <laughs> Twinkie the kid. That's awesome. I thought it was and Twinkle. Twinkie the kid. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, if I asking a hot mom. <laughs> <laughs> so this is oh this god. is the this is the funniest part about this. So Yandy.com did have models that came in before our shift. So I I worked my full time job and then I went and did this second shift. And there was like there was like modeling stuff, and you'd see some of the ladies leaving. We didn't see any of the modeling happening, but uh, we always saw the remnants of like lotion and crazy crap all over the place in their little shooting room area before we started our shift. And I was always like, "That's just we just left. If we just come in an hour earlier, <laughs> I would love to have seen Eric at that time. <laughs> just at the time where he got fired." That's all. That's all. That would be, that'd be fine afterward. I would love to see him ask that. <laughs> Twink, tw Twinkie the kid. Twinkie the kid. I will say, I take it back. I did. I did work uh, a second job when I was in my early twenties at a, a newspaper uh, factory or newspaper cool. place uh, as a. Uh, I did like I loaded the trucks and stuff like that when they did like their their runs or whatever. Um, so yeah, I packed like newspapers and the in the carts and trucks and stuff like that. Uh, it definitely w it was like late nights uh, for real sometimes. Sometimes it was like I got there at like 11 sometimes. And uh, I think one time I didn't get out until like five in the morning or six Holy in the boy. morning. It was, yeah, it was crazy. That's and then I had to go to work. Like I think I might've been off that day or I had to work. I think I'm not sure. I forgot. I think sober chef Eric has like the most interesting jobs. He was a DJ at a strip club. Yeah. Bro, DJ at a strip club as Twinkie the kid. <laughs> <laughs> that was his DJ name. This is Twiggy the Kid. Should have brought Up next the outfit. is. Yeah. Should have brought the outfit. Was that before or after? <laughs> was that after you got fired? <laughs> <laughs> I was the model. You're bring, right. You're right, Billy Rogers. I, I forgot to tell you that uh, I only I was the model at the uh, Yandy.com. <laughs> People didn't buy much. <laughs> <laughs> Like, don't be like this guy. Buy these. And I was like the other guy. Do you remember that Saturday Night Live? It had like uh, that one lady that like, Vintave, some of it. It was always the same clothes. Yeah. And she was like this big, husky, German-looking lady. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. That was me. So was did you have a DJ name, Eric? That's, That's what we need. We need the DJ, DJ name for Sober <laughs> Chef Eric. <laughs> Strip club's an awesome dude, awesome job. Oh my god, the DJ and look at all the hot girls. What more can you ask for? There you go. Especially when you're young. Especially yeah. when you're young. I've had over forty jobs since I that is crazy. That is crazy. Wow. That is I mean, we, we, I, we don't have enough time to go through all forty of your jobs. So I, I, 
So out of like the crazy, like what would be like the crazy out of the forty, what would be like the craziest? Like Twinkie the Kid, uh, Twinkie the Kid 40. or DJ? That's 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 crazy. Twinkie the Kid's a good one. Yeah. Out of all forty, what would you say is like the craziest? Funniest would be, I guess, the Twinkie one. That'd be that'd be fun. That's Twinkie. Yeah. The beauty of Ahad. You know the problem with these other out these other ones are too easy. I'm looking at the uh, questions. Some of them are like way too hard, and the other ones are like way too easy. Ah, uh, we'll go with some easy ones because we know Camo Cam pretty much has this wrapped up. We got okay. The which Guns N' Roses guitarist performs the guitar solo on Sweet Child of Mine? Cam done one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cam already murdered you. Yeah, he's already murdered Cam's already. Oh, Camo got that one, too. Good job, Camo Cam. We should do this again. This is fun, actually. I've really enjoyed this. This has been fun. See, we had the off. I think every once in a while when we have our off, like, no, but no musicians, we should do this again. This is fun. Izzy Stradlin. You know what? That's close. Close. All right, James, what do you got? What's your next question? Um, do, 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 do. What do I got? Uh, let's see. What's going on, Gary? We'll see. Mr. Gary Lewis is in the house. What's going on? Camo Cam is destroying on uh, trivia tonight. Absolutely destroying yep. it. All right. What uh, What band was the first to advertise on a billboard? Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Billy, that's funny, Billy Rogers. Yep. Beatles, what do you got? The Doors. No. Somebody had the Doors. Who else? Silver Chef Eric got it. The Silver Doors. Silver Chef. Nice. A new name is on the list. <laughs> we should... <laughs> he has earned himself a gummy worm. Um, good job. Okay, so I, I actually will go with a more obscure one, and I actually really love this guitarist, and who wouldn't? But uh, name the guitar slinging musician who was referred to as God by band members. We got Jimmy Page, we got Tom. Ooh, Tommy that's Martin. close. That's close. Close, actually, doing... on close, close, close. Right, so Tony Iommi. I love Tony Iommi. He's good, though. Yeah, but good. Jimmy Page is probably the closest to this guitar, yeah, if you're thinking style-wise. <laughs> And right now, you probably know him by a single act, but he did play with a band back in the day that was not <coughs> named after him. Yep, there you go. Camel Cam had it. Eric Clapton. Yep. One of the best blues guitarists. I Just amazingly good. Eric Clapton is one of the best guitar. He is really good. Superior. Um... So I have to leave in like eight minutes. 
Well, so we're going to uh, do a few more questions and then uh, we'll wrap up. And then uh, Camo Cam has decidingly, has, has convincingly beat everybody. He literally has a song um, about cocaine. Or cocaine. It's cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Santana was close. I like Santana too. He's a great. <laughs> Did I get a trophy for not Google. <laughs> Camo Cam is absolutely right. He literally has a song about cocaine. Absolutely right. Yeah, I think he's going to guess Axel Rose until the, it's the right answer. <laughs> it's Axel Rose. <laughs> All right, so I'll, I'll see if, uh, okay, I'll, I'll get this one right here. Um, okay. So what band was uh, was kicked out of their own release party for starting a food fight? <laughs> this is going to be good. Kicked out of their own. Was kicked out of their own That's release. Starting, starting a food fight. Oh, who we got? We got Green Day. We got Motley Crue, Van Halen. Yeah, it is. Dim- it is getting close to dinner time, man. We're right. Van Halen. Ooh, Motley Crue, uh, yeah, so Green Day. So far. Man, this is going to be a good one. I would think Motley Crue because back in the day they were crazy. They were considered the crazy band. Do you know what's really kind of really sad to be honest with you is Vince Neil has lost his voice. I mean, have you seen any of the like, whoa, Vince Neil, I think you're done, buddy. I think it's time to go. Nothing so far. Nothing so far. All these bands obviously probably would be kicked out of, of starting. Guar. <laughs> Guar. I would guess Guar would be right. A... Guar. There you go. Even Guar. Right. I'm prepared. Maybe they <laughs> did. They just never was, never was known that they did. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they they slung more than food. But okay, nothing so yet. Give us, a, nothing give, us yet. give us a give uh, us a hint. Oh man. What can I say? Uh, man. I think Gary would know it, though. <laughs> Gary oh, would know Gary, it. <laughs> Gary's, Gary would already know it. Gary, uh, okay, I'll say it. Gary's in here. Gary had a, had a scent, had a release of, of it, of the band. Oh. I'll say that. Warrant. <laughs> that Warrant's fight metallic is good. <laughs> Uh, we have yet to have dinner, Dan. We are about ready to go in like five minutes. Me and <laughs> me and the Gary, me and Gary sober, are yeah. eating some Sober steak. Chef Eric, got it. I what was it? Who was Eric, it? Nirvana. So I see Sober Chef Nirvana. Eric. Nirvana first. Did, have you guys seen the new um, that new? There's a documentary. Maybe it's not so new, but I went and watched it the other day on Kurt Cobain. Um, and my 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 stepson said all of the Kurt Cobain are always like this crazy nonsense. You know, it's always nuts. Kurt Cobain stuff. (laughs) But yeah. It is. It was wrong with (laughs) y'all. He's so late. (laughs) Well, I mean, what time is it there? It's only six, right? Yeah, it's only six. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, you know, I got to hang out with, I got to hang out with my buddy James tonight. We got to hang out and eat some, you know, talk about some desserts, do some trivia. So the last song of the night, which Camo band Bob. is famously known? Yeah, Camo Cam one, and I'll, I'll let you guys know in a few seconds. We'll do one more song, one more, not one more question. Which band is famously known to be the most dangerous band in the world? Uh-huh. And actually, it says which band is famously known as the most dangerous band in the world in rock band trivia. <laughs> I don't know why the rock band trivia got in there, but that's crazy. But uh, yeah, Camo Can has, uh, d- d- has uh, killed it tonight. We will do this again, guys. We, we've talked about doing this maybe once a month or once every two months or something, just at once, especially when we, you know, we're kind of thinking the band may not, we may not have a band or somebody signed up.
GG Allen. Slayer is a good one. Slayer is good, but it's not the right one. But Slayer would be the one. This is so you got to think about this is mainstream 80s rock. Wow. So wow, this striper. is mainstream. So it gets rid of yeah, Striper, the Christian, the Christian rock band. <laughs> Dan had it. There we go. Dan has it. Guns and Roses. Yep. Oh, I see, like, I see, like, uh, you could have said Axl Rose, right? Because one of those. Yeah. <laughs> you could have had him. Well, you, you, had one Rose. you didn't even answer with Axl Rose. I thought you said that's what you're going to do. Lord have mercy. What's going on, Zebra? What's going on? Ozzy. All right. Ozzy. Ozzy. You know, Ozzy would have been a good one, too. Um, but he's just a solo guy. So it was the. Well, no. Ozzy's kind of a band and a. Yeah. I would have gone Black Sabbath. I would have thought Black Sabbath would have been kicked out because Ozzy was involved in that. Okay, so who yeah, what, what did he win? I'll do, I'll do one, quick, did... no, one, one quick Go ahead, question. Go ahead. One more. Uh, one more. So one more. Who, who's got the longest running fan club and won like the Guinness World Record for the longest running fan club? What band? Oh, that's a good one. I Gary's, thought, I thought mom... pretty... Gary's already said Mamas and Papas. Right there. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. No, that's not it. <laughs> I'll tell you in a few minutes, the mamas and papas are going to be eating some steak. That's all I'm going to say. I'm looking forward to that. I haven't had a good steak in a while. Motley Crue. Let's see. Beatles. Beatles is a good one. Kiss. Yeah. Longest running fan club. Longest running fan club. Yeah. It, Kiss Army it would, be, it would be a good guess, too. I would say Beatles too would be a good guess because my really mom good. was part of the. But I bet you you would probably is it further back? Is it further back? Is my question. Uh, yeah, yeah, I that's think, what I was I thinking. Think so. Further back, there's there's somebody who is known. Rolling Stones I think it started uh, in 1973, I think. No, oh, interesting. Yeah, Queen got it. Dan got it. Queen. Good job. Good job. We should have had Dan come in a little earlier. He may have <laughs> thrown Dan up would some. Dan would be Camo Cam. He might have. He might have on this one. Yeah, Camo Cam came out. So he is has one. He has his choice of two T-shirts from bands that we have actually interviewed. Uh, South for Winter is one of them. So go check it out, Camo Cam, and then you can uh, IG me do, if you have IG. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah. it, said, it said at its peak, Queen in uh, 1973, after the release of their first album, it, at their peak, it, it was 20,000 members deep holy for their holy. fan club. And I think now it's, it's now it's down to like almost like about 10,000. Wow, that's crazy. That's cool. Yeah. <coughs> Billy oh, Eilish. So Camo, yeah, Billy Eilish. So Camo Cam has won a t-shirt, a rock t-shirt from one of our bands. Uh, hit me up, Camo Cam. We will get you your rock t-shirt. And um, we definitely want to help support our band. So we're buying it. It's on our dime. We're buying one of the t-shirts. So we have several people that have come out there that have merch. And uh, I will tell you some of my favorite. Dusty Bow has his own merch store. I'm not sure if it's up and running, but I'm sure he has. He, I know he has some merch. And then South for Winter, I love their artwork on their T-shirts. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Nick H was able to win one of those early on. Um, really awesome. But Camo Cam, hit me up. Um, I we are the Tasty Licks interviews on Instagram, and uh, I am I'm going to go eat. I, I got a steak waiting my calling my name. I got Can't some wait. of that uh some of those rattlesnake bites waiting for me. Uh we're gonna have a good time. His first guess was wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's funny. Um so thank you guys for coming in. I mean, we just had a yeah, great night. You. This was a great this was probably the one of the best turnouts we've had for our show. We totally appreciate it. We'll have to be throwing this in a little bit more often then, I guess. Uh, just really enjoyed it. And thanks, Dan, for coming. Thanks, Gary. Yeah, Dan, and thanks. everybody else. Camo Cam, definitely. We appreciate the uh, the work. Billy Rogers, Sober Chef Eric. Good to see you, Zebra. Yeah. And, yep. Yeah, totally appreciate everybody. Half-Baked, Bearded. Totally appreciate you guys coming in tonight and uh, enjoying this night with us. So um, I'm off to go eat. 
You you gotta gotta say, hurry you gotta say, hurry the hell up. Yeah, I got to go see if my see if the the other half is rain. But uh, what is uh, any last words, James? What do you got going on? No, it's been fun. I didn't know how how time was going to turn out. I didn't know if it was going to be a little a little dead or whatever, but yeah, it turned out to be pretty good. Yeah, yeah this was actually the perfect. Was this was fun. perfect. Yeah, totally fine. We'll do this again. So uh, we will see you all on the flip side next week. Um, we probably have another band coming. So another musician coming in, enjoying it. I'm going to try to uh, throw out. So last week, and I think I shared this with James, um, my dad, who was on last week, uh, did a little song for us. And then what he, what he showed us, he did the Pro Tools and he recorded it while he was there. And then he orchestrated it. And turn it into a full blown sympathy or symphony, sympathy, symphony. So, sympathy, sympathy. It was full blown sympathy. Full blown sympathy, sympathy. Right there. yeah. So, he threw it into, and it's a beautiful song. Uh, it's on his SoundCloud. If you guys uh, can look for Andrew Peters, it is on his SoundCloud currently. But we will be sharing that sometime soon on just a regular, just like video that we just release and upload to show you the. I mean, it just it blew my mind. I mean, you saw, you heard it, James. I was yeah, just like, yeah. If you Whoa. haven't checked out that live out, it's definitely a good. You're gonna definitely get a good laugh and a good, <laughs> uh, some good entertainment actually with the music. It, it was really yeah. that's that's a genius. Yeah, that's I. You know, what's so funny is I I talked to him. I can't. So like the next week, he he was <laughs> like, "What are people saying?" And I'm just like, "People said you're amazing." Yeah, and I'm and I'm like, "Yeah, you're still my dad." You know, you're still my dad. <laughs> I'm not going to give you let you get that big of a head. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, guys. We'll see you all later. Thank you guys for much. Rock on, guys. Thanks. Rock on. We totally appreciate it. It was great to hang it. out. And uh, I'm going to go eat some uh, steak and with uh, Mr. Gary. We'll have a good time. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. Rock on.